Hey everybody, today is March 26, 2022. Today is meat processing day. We're grinding about 82 pounds of venison. I had a really good season last year. Ended up with 82 pounds of meat. We're gonna turn into deer burger. We're about halfway done. We've got five pounds of jerky going here on a dehydrator. The rest of it we're putting in one and a half pound packages going in the freezer. And with the cost of meat these days, I'm very thankful to have that. We've got a lot of the meat already chunked up, several more bags ready to go, and we're gonna get this done today. Quick knife review, I like to talk about knives. I'm not using this knife today to grind the meat, but I did use this knife when I was processing the deer and it's an excellent tool. There's a YouTube channel out there called Bearded Butchers. It's a couple brothers out in Ohio and they're professional butchers. They own uh, a family owned butcher shop they've had for years and they are very good at what they do. And they use these Victornix knives and these are made in Switzerland. If you think of a high quality Swiss army knife, that's what these are. They have a great edge on them the upswept blade, they hold an edge really good, easy to resharpen, and when you're cutting up a deer, you cannot beat this knife. This is one of the cheaper models with the plastic handle. I think it was 22 bucks on eBay, $22 shipped to my door. And it is one of the most useful tools when you are processing deer. Now, I use the heavier knives when I'm cutting up the frozen chunks. The meat grinds so much better when it's semi-frozen. I take it out of the freezer, I let it sit for about 10 to 12 hours, and it doesn't totally thaw, but it softens up enough to where you can cut it safely with a large knife. But just wanted to talk about this knife, the Victornix uh, boning knife is what they call it. I wanna say this is the five and a half inch model. They've got different types. But for deboning a deer, for processing a deer, when you shoot the deer, you cannot beat these. It's a fairly thin blade. It's got a little bit of flex to it, a very sharp point. It, it hones to a razor's edge, and it just really is a game changer when you're working up large amounts of meat. So hey, everybody, uh, meat processing day. Just wanted to do a quick shout out, and uh, thanks for watching.